Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about one of the main classes of laser tumors, which I think is one of my most qualified to speak on. That's an endothelomas, and that at the end of the talk, I can address the three. Greg, I think you have to get a little closer to your mic. Okay, how, how about this? Better? I'm using for audio. Is that better, Fred? Better? A little bit better, yeah. Okay. I think the slides are probably uh, of the diagnostic medicine physician to populate all of these spheres. And if we do that, the diagnosis will, will be specific. Uh, all of the information we need is available through the electronic medical record. The most evolving data spheres are definitely molecular signature and preoperative imaging. All right, with that overview, let's look at the endothelmas. First point, imaging is pathology. Diagnosis begins not with histology, it begins with preoperative imaging. Let's look at the imaging in the endothelmas, WTO grade one. And I know the vast majority of participants are familiar with this. WTO grade one, the homogeneous avid contrast enhancement, blue, convex, interface, brain, Neural tail, classic tail, not mapping the model, but highly characteristic. Novotrope grade two, major features, health and pathology, position of high grade in the endoma, modulated interface. This is referred to as mushroom imaging line. Greg, you're fading out again. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, fuzzy interface. If you can't hear me, just, for, just look at the slides. I apologize for the audio. Brain edema, grade three features. These are really bad actors, as you can see. All right, common anatomic location. Again, the neurosurgeons are very familiar uh, with, uh, with this. Uh, these are all MDM systemic information. All right, I just sample the process. You got to get closer to the mic, Greg. I don't know where the mic. I don't know where the mic is. I, I, did. I always call in using the phone, but I didn't have that option. So I apologize. I would say just look. You're self-explanatory. All right. Okay. Signatory angiomatous, a lot of edema, or historically aggressive subtypes: papillary rhabdoid grade three, cordoid clear cell grade. This is what they look like. They don't really look like many endomas. Pathologists must know what they look like. The association of high grade solely based on histology subtype under the treatment. Many times it doesn't hold up. Right? So here's the classification based on uh, just the upgrade to grade two. Brain invasion, four more mitotic tumors, three of the five in the Neoplastic. We can't hear you, Greg. That's okay. Just look at the slides. I'm almost done. <laughs> so, sorry. I'm, seriously, I'm almost done. These are the main four alterations associated with high grade. All right, let me talk about the forthcoming fifth edition of classification. This is the paper just came out the past month. And what we see, this is the meningioma section. This is those genes I just showed you, a complete list of all CNS brain tumor entities over four pages long, 22 really recognized primary 